In the meantime, the man police say attacked the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made his first court appearance in a San Francisco courtroom today. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker was there as David DePat faced a judge and tells us we might have just gotten a preview of his defense strategy. The arraignment lasted all of eight minutes. DePap entered a plea of not guilty and waived his right to a preliminary hearing in 10 days. Now, we only spoke to say yes to answer a question from the judge and to clarify the pronunciation of his last name when asked about that. No cameras allowed in the courtroom, but as you can see, his right arm was in a sling. His public defender says he suffered a dislocated shoulder during his arrest at the Pelosi home. I haven't even seen the police reports. I met my client last night for, with, for a brief meeting for the first time. Public defender Adam Lipson declined to describe his client's mental state, but he did offer what sounded like a foreshadowing of a defense strategy. What I will say is that there's also been a lot of uh, speculation regarding Mr. DePap's um, vulnerability to uh, to um, misinformation, um, and that's certainly something that we're going to look into, that we're going to delve into as his defense team. Uh, I think what's clear is that this case uh, is vulnerable to misinformation. We are seeing it spread across all platforms at this point. Um, we need to make sure that the record is clear uh, what happened in this situation for all parties. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says one goal for her office is to push back on rumor and misinformation, but for now, she's made a decision not to release the 911 call from the Pelosi home. Um, we are going to make a choice of whether or not it's something that should be played during the course of his preliminary hearing and, of course, a later trial. Um, but that's when that would be made available. Prosecutors asked for and received a protective order requiring DePap to stay away from the Pelosi family. Now, that, of course, moot as he is being held without bail, and there's also a federal hold, so he can't be released anyway. Now, he'll be back in court on Friday for the scheduling of the preliminary hearing and more bail discussions. We're here in San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Live look at the state capitol where Governor Newsom blasted Republican politicians have either mocked the Pelosi since last Friday's attack or cast doubt on the official story. This afternoon, he tweeted, mocking an 82-year-old in the ICU with a fractured skull takes a special kind of talent. Youngkin, Cruz, Lake, the character of the GOP is on full display for us all to see. We'll continue to follow all the latest developments in the attack on Paul Pelosi right here on KPIX 5, streaming on CBS News Bay Area and online at KPIX.com.